Today, the Colorado Brewers Guild is hosting another Colorado Pint Day, and this year's is the largest one to date. Oh, we're excited here to talk more about it. We've got Eric Larkin with Cohesion Brewing. Eric, thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yes, these pint glasses are so stinking cool. Before we kind of talk about the design and how that all works, can you just tell us a little bit about Colorado Pint Day and what's different this year? Yeah, so Colorado Pint Day, well, it's the biggest, as you mentioned, right. in history. So uh, it's a, a pint day kind of fundraiser for the Colorado Brewers Guild. So since 2016, the Brewers Guild has been doing this uh, to support local breweries. It yeah. gives us a day to bring people in and, and show off some cool Colorado artwork. And when we say this is the biggest one today, what exactly do we mean by that? Uh, so I think we're gonna have a little bit over 30,000 glasses that got sold. Wow. Um, there's 225 breweries that are participating all across the state. Um, and we had a new local artist this year from Grand Junction actually make this uh, design. And with that money that we're talking about selling these glasses, how does that go to support independent local breweries? Yeah, so the Colorado Brewers Guild really works to promote, propel, uh, and protect independent craft breweries here in the state. So they do a ton of work from legislative and then just support to help our businesses grow and thrive here in the state. And Eric, you mentioned the design a little bit, of course, a local artist, different local artists does it every year. Yeah. So just talk a little bit more about that, who created it and kind of the story behind it. They're so cool. So this was uh, created from Ryan Montgomery. He's a beer tender at Ramblebine Brewing, okay. which is out in Grand Junction. Um, so the design this year was focused on spring skiing and pond skimming. So fun. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it kind of, if you get all three of them, that's the thing. Yeah. Kind of yes. Like collect all three to get one giant, beautiful. If you want to make right the triptych, there. you got to buy three. So, there yeah. You yeah go. Exactly. I like that. You know, we, we don't need a good excuse to get three, but <laughs> I we know. will. Now, yeah. can we still come out to any brewery today yes. and purchase yes. these so glasses? Okay. This is the first day they're being sold, is okay. today. Uh, most breweries do sell out today. Wow. Um, so, they all do a different promotion. Everyone has a different thing. We have a special pour that we call a Maliko pour, okay. which is something we do at Cohesion for a Czech style pour. So you have Ooh. to get a full pour of the Maliko, okay. and then you get the glass alongside it. But everybody oh. does it a little different. Some people just sell them by the glass. It's okay. a good deal. So how can people learn more about Colorado Pint Day if maybe they're new to our state or yeah. this is the first time they want to participate? Yeah, so if you go to coloradobeer.org, all the participating breweries are listed there. Again, there's over 225 across the state, so wow. there's probably one near you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if there's any glasses left over, I think on social media, the Colorado Brewers Guild will talk about who has glasses left over. Oh, so cool. sometimes there's a few that sneak out past yeah. today, but uh, today's really your best chance to get one. And we do expect a lot of, <laughs> probably most places to sell out of them. Yeah. Glasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eric, we will sell out. Have you been collecting them over the years? Do you have many different <laughs> sets? <laughs> I, I am not allowed to have any more beer glassware in my house. <laughs> Uh, but I do I do keep the one one a year in okay. the brewery for, for like a water glass Fair. or something. That's really right. cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And of course, in honor of Colorado Pine Day, we've been asking you all morning, what's your favorite brewery? Texas, 303-871-1491. Of course, so many responses already that we're going to show you here. I mean, people love beer in Colorado. Yes. There's no doubt about yeah. that. Eric, do you have some favorite breweries of yours? Oh, yeah. I mean, Get some shout outs. Obviously, Aside I'm a, from Cohesion. Obviously, I'm a big fan of what we're doing <laughs> at Cohesion, but uh, we've got a lot of great classic styles here in Cohesion. So yeah. Hogshead over in the Low High neighborhood, okay. they're, they're doing classic English styles. Wow. So I'm, I'm really a big fan of lower ABV beers and mm -hmm. the English tradition has a, a big root in that as well. So yeah. I love to go over there and drink those types of beers. Oh, Eric, yeah, I think you're going to agree with a lot of the, what people are writing in. We got <laughs> Zunai Street, we got Left Hand Brewing, we got Loveland Ale Works, we got Outer Range Brewery. Oh, yeah. We have Local <laughs> Door, Littleton, Wiley Roots. Ooh. We've got Holla Daily. Holla Daily's good and they do all the gluten free they're beers. All gluten -free. Yes. Chalmers loves Holla Daily. Shout out. <laughs> We've got Mountain Toad. Always good for a post hike beer. There. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, we are, we're the state of craft beer, so we've yeah. got a lot of good options. <laughs> and it's all just getting started with Colorado Pine Day. Eric, again, thank you so much. We can't, uh, we appreciate you coming in and seeing us this yeah, morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs>